Good afternoon or good morning rather, brothers and sisters in Christ and across this nation called Nigeria. My name is Sam Ope and I'm privileged to be the Chief Prelate of Fresher Ministries International Church based in Lagos, Nigeria. I am here to just do a video concerning uh, Pastor Mike David, who is also one of the pastors or formal pastors with the Omega Fire Ministries pastor by my friend and brother, Dr. Apostle Suleiman Johnson, and also his wife, uh, Pastor Faith, in quote, Mike David. Now, uh, I am here to make this video on two notes. Number one, that uh, Faith and Mike are aware that I'm alive. And there is always two sides to the story because sometimes when people use emotions to begin to beg people, like Mike David will say, Nigeria, the federal government, Bowari, Aisha Bowari, Obasakiri, the governor of Edo State, should step into the matter and then plead with Apostle Suleiman to bring his wife. I feel that that is so cruel for anyone who holds the Bible to do. Mike, you know that Sam Ope is alive. You know the role I play into this into your issue with Apostle Suleiman. I am so embarrassed that you will not even deem it fit to pick my phone since yesterday, or you will not call me back. People are so ungrateful. And as to, to Pastor Faith, I am neither siding Mike, nor am I siding Pastor Faith. Pastor Faith, I listened to your own video yesterday. How could you so forget or so be so forgetful that you forgot that I was the one that took you by the hand to Apostle Suleiman's Johnson Hotel in uh, uh, Radinson Blue in Ikeja, Jerry, Lagos. I drove you myself on the 13th of uh, May, 1999, 19, 2019. How could you forget? I heard you calling the names of other men of God, which I personally don't know, that they helped you to step into the matter. Are you, are you guys this ungrateful? Are you guys this ungrateful? Now to the whole world, if you care to listen to the truth and the voice of truth, listen to me. I am not in support of Pastor Faith. I am not in support of Pastor Mike. I'm only here to clear Apostle Suleiman because he is my friend and brother. And on this note, if you listen to this video, you will justify my intention for this video this morning. Number one, I don't know Faith. I don't know Mike. Mike sent me an inbox on the normal uh, Fisher, I mean Facebook uh, greeting Papa good morning and all of that I have that on my video I mean on my inbox and acknowledging the grace of God upon my life and my teaching ministry that's one that's how I got to know Mike number two Faith also inboxed me when I was in Yola preaching for my friend sorry in Madugri preaching for one of my boys I mean sons Pastor Marvelous and that she would have wanted to attend the meeting if she was close by and to be blessed by her ministry she has been following my ministry for too long long story short Faith somehow got to know that we're doing a meeting in our church in Lagos and she drove down in the company of her friend, which name on purpose I want to avoid. But if the necessity come to it, I'm going to say that name to you and then she will confirm that. They came in from Ekboma to my meetings and because they introduced her as a pastor, I, I was moved with compassion. And when she came, uh, her friend minister in song, which was our, our guest artist for that event in our church, May last year, May 2019. And then I gave the mic to Pastor Faith to just do a one minute greeting to the church. And then she set the whole place ablaze. She said, Pastor Faith is a very fine preacher. And I was moved to tears. And I said, woman, our church is a weakness to all of these things because that service was videoed. And so we will doctor, we will bring our own video when the time comes for it. When Pastor Faith finished ministry, I took I was the one that took them to the hotel. I lodged them in two different hotels. The first night they didn't like the first hotel. Then I put them in the Santos Hotel in Akonjo Road in Lagos, Nigeria. By Akonjo Santos Hotel by Akonjo Runabout. I drove them. I didn't send any protocol. I drove Pastor Faith and a friend who came to the hotel and I paid for that hotel. When they were going back, I was the one that uh, 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 they saw last to go. Now this is the issue. When faith, when I asked Pastor Faith, who is your spiritual father that you make you uh, that you preach this fine? He said, Father is Johnson Suleiman, Apostle Johnson Suleiman. This was where the story came about Apostle Suleiman that herself and her husband passed off for Apostle Suleiman in Kano. Upon that time, I didn't know that the person that she's referring to as her husband is Mike Davis. Even though Mike Davis, I was talking to me on the on inbox on the ministry level, nothing to do with Suleiman anyway. Long story short. 
uh, and I said, what happened? She told me the whole story how they were suspended and for years now they have not been uh, reaching out to Pastor Suleiman and Pastor Apostle Suleiman is not talking to them. Now this video is on two platforms. Number one, the reason why I took Pastor Faith to see Apostle Suleiman is that she told me when they were trying to make up which her husband later confirmed to me that a lot of Nigerian pastors who want to help them were charging them money, 1 million naira, 1.5 million naira, to reconcile her to Apostle Suleiman. This was what you told me, Pastor Faith. And then number two reason why I took you there was because of the way you preach. This two, on these two notes, I said, well, if you have this kind of great daughter, Apostle Suleiman, uh, you need to give this attention. I called my friend Apostle Suleiman on the phone, and in his word, he said, I don't want to listen to these people. I don't want to talk to anybody. If not for your honor and respect I have to you, for you, Apostle Sam, as a friend, I will cut the phone on you. And Apostle Suleiman said, everyone that has called him on this matter, he has called the phone. But for my respect, or the respect he has for me, he will not drop the phone on me. He said, he doesn't want to do anything with faith. He doesn't want to do anything with Mike. I don't know the heat of the story. Then in my word, I said to Apostle, if you have a daughter that is this, uh, that, uh, that offend you and you beat them and they run out of the house and they run to your friend for safety and your friend bring them back home, won't you honor your friend and receive your children back? He paused for a while and I said, okay, bring her, that I'm in Lagos. I didn't even know it was in Lagos because we were supposed to go to Auchi. I was willing to take that risk on the account that she was being charged by other pastors and on the account that she preaches very well. I don't know them from anywhere. So I took her to Radinson Blue in the company of Pastor Joe Asukwa from Lafia. The pictures are on the inbox and I'm about to upload them. Then when we got there, I took the photograph when Apostle Suleiman was praying for faith. All that photograph that Mike corrupted. I am tired. I am sick in my head. Why Mike would ever think that he could do such a smart thing when he knew the source of the picture? It was my phone. I was the one that took the picture because we were three in that room. Myself, Apostle Suleiman, Joe Asuko, and Pastor Faith on the first visit in Lagos. Radisson Blue. Go and check the date. Go to Radisson Hotel, 13th of May, 19, I mean year 2019. And then our church has a video to that effect of her preaching in our church that day. And I have it uploaded on my Facebook page. When I uploaded the Facebook page, Suleiman called, Apostle Suleiman called me that I should drop that picture. He doesn't want to have anything to do with photograph with them in the immediate. I took the picture. That's why I have the enlargement of that picture and myself in my office. When you want to see it, let me know. I will go to the office. I am broadcasting from home right now. I will go to the office and do a video on my wall so you can see the picture and the, and the distance. And I have some of them on my Facebook. Now, long story short, when we were leaving Pastor Faith, Apostle Johnson Suleiman gave Pastor Faith 2,000 US dollars as a gift to go back home to her family. Number two, Apostle Suleiman gave me 3,000 US dollars because I was going to America and he said, I want to support your ticket. And then we left the hotel. Then I called, I mean, Mike called me and the husband and wife talked to themselves and then uh, 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 Pastor Faith told me the apostle, I am going to give my husband, tell him that it's one thousand dollars they give to me. I said, Why? He said, Because if I told him it's two thousand dollars, he will take it. So, Mike, you should mark that the money they give to your wife was two thousand dollars. It was me she told that she was going to tell you it's one thousand. And she told me that when she told you it was one thousand dollars, you took the whole money and ate it. But the money was actually two thousand dollars. Let's be sincere as Christians and have our conscience because anything that has to do with pastors, people take it and go viral and begin to run down men of God. It is not good. Let us give attention to details. If you have the spirit of excellence, you don't need to do this uh, a crap of a, a favor you are looking for people and sympathy. This is cruel for any man of God who carries the Bible to do. You don't do that to your fellow preacher. That is by done. Now, Mike called me that he was coming. I convinced Apostle Suleiman, begged him to talk to Mike and to see Mike. And then I made Mike to buy the ticket. Mike, you forgot. All right, like I was saying, number two. Mike, you forgot that you bought ticket to come that evening and you missed your flight. And then the flight came too late. I mean, missed your flight. Then you flew the next morning. I was the one that picked Mike from the airport. I took you and my wife in the car to Apostle Suleiman's hotel. When you were in Suleiman's hotel and uh, you were being rebuked, you were begging for me to reconcile you with your father. You were begging me and then talking to Suleiman, begging. How can you forget that I was the one that took the picture? And my wife is an evidence and a witness in that matter. When you were leaving, I mean, Apostle, when I was talking to Mike and Apostle Suleiman in the hotel, begging Apostle Suleiman, who literally didn't want to have anything to do with you, and he accepted because of me, I sent my wife outside in the hotel so that we can talk. 
And when we finished talking, I sent you out. And Apostle Suleiman asked me, Apostle, what do we need to do? What do you think I should do to this young man? I said, put him on probation. And he said, okay, we'll give that a thought. And I brought you in. When we were going, Apostle Suleiman gave Mike $1,000 and gave my wife $1,000 for transportation. And I was going to go to Germany, so I was going to German embassy to pick my visa. And then I took Mike with me to pick my visa in German embassy. On our way out on the Tomeland Bridge, our car got a problem. Mike, you forgot? And then Mike gave me the $1,000 that is my gift. I said, no, I don't do that. You, it's your father that bless you. You need to get money. I know how you also to came to come down here. I don't do that. And then you say, if I don't take any money, Mike said, if I don't take any money from the money, he will not be happy and he will, not, he will throw the money in the Tommy Lambridge water. So I took $100 out of it and Mike left with one, $900. And then Mike called her, his mother, and put his blood mother, and put, him on the, put her on the phone. The mother was crying and thanking me that thank you for reconciling my son back to his father. We have been laboring, going everywhere, talking to everybody, even in the airport, Apostle Suleiman embarrassed us. I didn't know there was a case like that. It was your mom and yourself that told me. And then that is done. Only for Mike to go to the house, and I was managing them on the phone how to go. I told Mike to go to the church on Sunday, even though they have not finalized every arrangement. And you went and brought story that people were happy, and news was going up and down, and all of those stories, until I got to America. When I got to America in New York, myself and Mike and Faith and Apostle were back to back on the phone for almost every other day, trying to reconcile this family. Long story short, Mike, you and I have a WhatsApp conversation. You and I have a WhatsApp audio conversation. You send notes to me. Your wife did the same and you forgot I have them. Where did you keep your mind when you were doing a video that you said Apostle Suleiman is in the custody of your wife? Did you forget that you, Mike Davis, called me on the phone and said you have left the house and I was begging you to go back home and you left for Abuja? How can you forget so soon? I beg you and you say you don't want to do anything with that marriage again. You are done with your wife and you are all you, you, she said this or whatever and you are done with the marriage. I told you to think about your children. You told me that she has two options either to return your children or to, to you or she should keep it. And that was what happened. Faith was hospitalized. Do you know how many days I was on the phone talking to your children and praying for your wife and talking to her, encouraging her on the phone? The woman went mad, almost insane, and into depression. How can you be this cruel? I don't have a problem with your domestic family or uh, your, your problem with your family. I don't have a problem with whatever you are doing with the Omega Fire Ministry and Apostle Suleiman. But I have a problem with you not being sincere on the weight of my involvement on this thing. You never mentioned my name. Your wife never mentioned my name. I feel that both of you are in great. This is my conclusion on this matter. Be sincere enough and remove the name of Apostle Suleiman when it comes to dealing with your wife as been missing. You know where your wife is. And let me give you the biggest shocker of the era. When your wife left Kanu to Abuja, I was aware. I know who gave her the money to make her transportation to Abuja, which is her elder brother in the UK. I am aware of that story. And then, can I give you the shocker? Pastor Faith know where Mike is living because they live in the estate opposite each other. We have cracked jokes on it and I said one day both of you will run into each other in the shopping mall and in the supermarket and we laughed. Kate, faith know where Mike is living in terms of geographical location. Might not know the definite house, but he knows because both of them live in the same estate. Mike, your wife lives in your estate. Faith, you know that your husband lives in your estate. So don't bring Apostle Suleiman each. Two of you know to bring this man of God into the matter. Mike don't know where faith is living, but faith know where Mike is living. And this is over a year. And you know why I'm pissed off? I am pissed off because when I finished did this reconciliation, Faith blocked me on the WhatsApp and also blocked me on Facebook and went solo for one year plus. I had the voice of faith for the first time in, 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 in a year and plus yesterday when the storm began to rage. And I, I wanted to blast her on the phone, but because she was crying, I felt to hold my peace. And I had my peace of mind to talk to her. I talked to folks. Apostle Suleiman called me and said, did you see the video that was going out? And I said, well, I didn't see the video. And he told me in confidence that I didn't want to reconcile with these people. You begged me. Look at the mess you are putting me into now. Pastor Mike, I was told by your wife yesterday that you have collected the bride price. If a man's wife is missing, the two places he's going to find out. Number one, from the in-laws place and from the police station. Apostle Suleiman, which you know is in Zambia right now, preaching, doing the work of God, is not in the custody of your wife and does not know where your wife live in Abuja. I, Samukwe, was the one that pleaded with Apostle Suleiman from New York while I was staying in New York to please support your wife and give them fitting. I don't even know that they have given your wife a church. 
I didn't even know how much of help Suleiman have given after she blocked me. I don't know for whatever reason she blocked me. I don't know. I wasn't chasing her. I wasn't looking for her. I wasn't. I was just there mediating. And she, she felt that she want they want to use me and dump me, whatever the case is. I don't give a crap to that because I don't need any favor from either of the two parties. Ladies and gentlemen, the whole of Nigeria, please have this at the back of your mind that Apostle John Singh Suleiman is innocent of the allegations and the accusation from Mike Davis and his family god bless you until i come your way again mike you know that you and i have a long whatsapp conversation the evidence is there please let's not get to the point where we are uploading evidence you know who took the picture why will you crop out your wife picture and suleiman and edit my image and edit the image of joe asuko and then make it look like as if suleiman apostle suleiman is having something to do with your wife how could you guys be too cruel somebody gave me three thousand dollars gave my wife three thousand dollars gave your wife two thousand dollars gave you two thousand dollars a total of seven thousand dollars as a gift to go back to your house because you couldn't get your ticket money how could you be cruel is it not part of the money you used to buy your ticket to go back to to Kano? let's be sincere and let's not take people's benevolence and, and soft heart.